22 and tonight the beer that we're gonna be drinking is from Undertable Brewing. It's called Dancing Savage. Dancing Savage. 7.1% uh, IPA. Let's go ahead and get a taste on this. Not much of a uh, hiss on that. Let's go ahead and get a pour. Mm -hmm. Get a little aggressive with this. I, I was recommended to drink this fresh, so it looks fantastic. Look at that. So let's go ahead and get a whip off, the, off this. Smelling pretty good. I'm not a very good reviewer, but uh, I know what I like, so uh, smells wonderful. Let's get a taste on it. Cheers! Oh wow! Uh, it's a little bit. Uh, it's. I would say it's a little bit uh, bitter up front, so uh, I I like it. It's a little bit. It's more different than I, um, I was, I'm used to from. Uh, from the, those guys. Yeah, this is like a solid bitterness. This is kind of reminding me of my Galaxy uh, Smash because it was kind of like bitter the whole way through. So let's go ahead and uh, get on with this Homebrew Wednesday. Uh, don't want to take up too much, what, too much of your time. Uh, I was busy this past week. I uh, did the uh, Big Brew Day at Homebrew USA there in Norfolk. And uh, that day I did a New Zealand IPA. So this New Zealand IPA is totally different from my other one that I had uh, for the SJ4 Challenge last year. And uh, this one doesn't even use the same hops. I'm using the Super Alpha. Gotta, gotta fly. It's getting warm out. I'm getting bugs around. So I've got uh, using Super Alpha, which is also the same as uh, Dr. Rudy, and uh, Y-E-T. So uh, IBUs on this is going to be coming out right around 67, 70 IBUs. Uh, and this one's going to come out right around 7%. So I hit, I hit my numbers. I actually got a little bit better efficiency on it. So uh, uh, my recipe called for two row melanoidin and a little bit of 55 L so So really looking forward to that one there So but I got another brew day. Uh, I don't have much footage I got a little bit of footage on the new on the big brew day But it was a pretty busy day because big brew day. I kind of I like helping other people uh, brew so uh, I think I got like one little clip on it. Uh, I did get one thing I did get on uh, Big Brew Day, I got sunburn, and uh, Rick, uh, Rick Bish, which is Homebrew 62, he actually was smart enough to wear a hat. So, so I failed at that. So good to you, uh, Rick, because he had the hat on. Uh, but I had to work on my truck the other night, and I was over at uh, Barrage Brewer, and he said, "Hey, uh, why don't we brew while we're uh, working on your truck?" And I was like, "That's a good idea." So I made a, uh, a beer, let me get another drink on this. Man, that's pretty nice. So I made a, a beer. I was, I was gonna do a Sierra Nevada clone, but uh, I, totally, I totally did not go with that. I used different hops that it calls for and uh, and I also added a little bit of Munich in it, so it's not even a Sierra Nevada clone. It's it's a, just a pale ale clone or a pale ale. So uh, kind of excited about that. It's mainly uh, Cascade hops, uh, bittering. I'm using uh, Challenger and Mag Magnum, and uh, so I'm really looking for that. I'm not going to be dry hopping that one. I'm going to uh, I did a uh, a flame out hop edition, so I've got that going on there. And uh, that's about, I got next weekend, I have the, uh, I, I'm helping out with a, uh, with a beer fest in Norfolk. 
Uh, so if you guys are in the area, live close by. The Beer Fest uh, is two, two, two days on uh, in May. It's uh, the 16th and 17th of May. And uh, the 15th, we're actually having a, a big 10-year uh, anniversary for our homebrew club. So, uh, And that's going to be right down by where the Beer Fest is going to happen. So just let me know if you guys are in town. Uh, just leave a comment down below and I will hook up with you guys if you guys are in the area. So uh, when we were at Big Brew Day on Saturday, uh, I'm going to give a shout out to Homebrew 62 again. And I'm going to give a shout out to Ant Rogerson because he made me, both these guys, which is Rick and Ant, actually got me to get the Bible, the Homebrew Beer Bible. And uh, I bought this thing, and uh, I really hadn't looked at it yet. And uh, Rick gave me a beer on Saturday of his mild. And the mild comes comes out like 3.7% alcohol. That's what he told me it was. And it had it was full bodied. It was it was really really good. Uh, I am that is that was fantastic. It was a great great beer. Uh, good for like, just a quick I would actually call that kind of a lawnmower beer because it's nice and light and but it didn't taste it was light but it didn't taste light it was it was it's a well it's a session beer so wherever you have it so that was a great great uh, beer Rick uh, Rick said he was nervous about me drinking I was like heck Rick I almost I enjoy almost every single beer you get me <laughs> So, anyways, uh, I am out of here. Uh, happy Homebrew Wednesday, and I will be back next week. So, hopefully I'll have more footage. Uh, I think our next uh, tasting on my Homebrew Club, that will be on Dan's, uh, or on Barrage Brewer's uh, site. So, I'll have a link down below. I'll put it down later, or I'll put it on next week's, uh, if we do it over his, over his, uh, his bar. So, anyways... I am out here, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.